everybody. I'm Mike Funnell, founder of Boston Making a Difference, here again with you today for another edition of Be Mad Spotlight. Our guest today is Evan Martin from Saugus, Massachusetts. Evan is the founder of Evan Martin Productions, and he's doing some pretty great things there. Evan, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. Hi, Mike. Thanks so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Evan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. Well, I am uh, originally from New York, uh, but I grew up in Andover, Massachusetts. And then I went on to study communications at the University of Central Florida. Um, started my career in hospitality and all along the way have had a relationship with music and video production as I was working in and out of studios and, and just always looking to develop that skill set uh, as I grew through the communications world. And um, it's just, uh, it's really come together for me in so many different ways. And I'm so excited about where it's going from here. Everett, I know you're like me. Uh, we're in the video production world and we were pretty harshly affected at first by the shutdown and everything from the pandemic. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you've been doing to keep business going during this time. Sure, thanks, Mike. Actually, the, for the past so many years leading up to the pandemic, I had been doing a lot of traveling around and I was doing a lot of commercials and just different kinds of segments, live events, both webcasting and recordings for on-demand trainings. And so what happened is I um, started to get a lot of, have, have a lot of people reach out to me, uh, past clients and new clients, uh, especially through a company that I've really grown with and branched out with through the years, which is Art Cassidy Seminar out of California. Um, so I really appreciate uh, Karen from Art Cassidy as well. But the bottom line is, is um, you know, a lot of people started to come to me after the relationships that we've built over the years, both teachers, instructors, and uh, trainers and just different kinds of leaders, but also audience members and other people that were really looking to take their platform and bring it into the virtual world. And they were just kind of scared of it or, you know, whatever the circumstances were. But um, the, what I noticed is there were people of all different levels as far as their experience and um, different computers, different programs. So I really wanted to take my knowledge and my experience and to start to develop a program that could just help people, um, you know, just in many different ways, uh, get acclimated to the virtual world. And, um, and so that's really what I've been doing. Um, I still offer as I did before, you know, portable setups and all kinds of different ways to bring my studio out to the people. Um, but especially for some time there, that wasn't even possible. Um, so again, it was just a matter of finding a very universal kind of simple way and a simple approach. Uh, to help guide these people that um, that needed help. That's great. You have to adapt, right? You have to pivot and go with the flow. So, so tell me, you know, we 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 talked on the a phone for uh, a little bit last week. Tell me a little bit about some of these things you're bringing to people with, you know, online production that are, you know, because uh, everyone's doing Zoom and go to meeting and those kind of things. So, tell me a little bit about those things that you've been doing to help people with that. Yeah, and those are great programs, by the way. You know, those programs, even though they're, they seem to be somewhat simple, there are different ways that you could take the basic skill set and improve it, um, you know, and that goes according with your current setup. And then there's also ways to improve your setup so you can be yourself in front of the camera. A lot of people are trying to find ways to learn new tricks. And, you know, one thing I learned about traveling around and recording instructors is that, you know, every instructor likes a different kind of microphone, whether it be a handheld or a lab or a headset. Um, some like to sit down, some like to stand up. Um, you know, as you know, Mike, uh, you know, there's just, there's ways to make people feel comfortable by making them feel themselves. So, um, and then another thing is, is the, the, you know, the program itself is, is guided in a way that it's kind of step-by-step step to, to begin with just eliminating the biggest problem that people are having, which is their internet connection. So, you know, we begin with just understanding what your current connection is, if you need to improve that connection, especially the upload speed, because that's what you'll need to improve when it comes to showing video content, which is a great way to really impress your audience, even through a Zoom type of a meeting or event. Um, but the bottom line is, you know, we understand where you're at with the internet connection and we get you a solid connection. By the way, ethernet is still the most solid way uh, to connect. And, um, you know, once we can understand where we're at there and make sure that the internet isn't an issue, then we could start to move into the other steps of the program, which, you know, are just kind of simple 
fundamental steps. Uh, I call the, the program Fundamentals and Organization to Improve Your Virtual Presentation. Um, so once we get the internet down, uh, and this is all through through a one-on-one -on -one chat, um, it's it's been with a lot of clients, just a video call, just like we're having now, so we can kind of get to know each other because another big thing about my company has always been about the relationship and that's a great way that you and I were able to connect. Um, but, but once we get to know each other and get to feel comfortable with each other and find ways to you know, eliminate the real serious issues, which actually are not that, that hard to eliminate, then we could just go into some basic ways, you know, whether it be lighting or a tripod, you know, even people that are using their cell phone to do everything if you put that cell phone up on a tripod and if you get some nice lighting, even if it's natural lighting, um, you know, it can make a huge difference. And also with the cell phone, that's a built-in microphone. So we have, you know, our, our laptops, our cell phones that have, you know, some of these new um, things that you could purchase that kind of have everything built in together. But, you know, if you, if you have a built-in microphone, you, you have to understand you have to stay close. So that works well for if you're someone who's sitting down doing your teachings, trainings, or running your meetings, or whatever else you're doing. However, if you're most comfortable standing up and moving around and stuff like that, you know, there are simple ways to get you there too, whether it be a Bluetooth microphone or, you know, it, it's just, it's just, again, understanding some of the basic ways to just eliminate that technical issue and to make people feel comfortable in front of the camera. And it's really, really working. I've had some amazing feedback from my clients and I'm just very excited to continue to help people move into the virtual world. That's awesome. You know, there, there are a lot of, you know, tips and tricks that you can share as a, a video professional just to make, you know, uh, pictures look better. I know one of the, my pet peeves that I have with, you know, people when, I've got them on a Zoom session is they've got a window behind them or they, they, their head is at the bottom of the screen and they've got, you know, three miles of the ceiling above their heads in the video. And, you know, so just framing the picture, you know, being close so you can hear and you know, avoiding backlit situations and, you know, getting a little table lamp that helps with front lighting, you know, all those kind of mm -hmm. things can really help, you know, make the video look better. So, uh, maybe you can give us an example of a client you helped and, you know, put together a, a, a nice Zoom or go to meeting type production for them. Sure. Uh, uh, one of my clients, Allison Teal, um, again, who was connected to me through our Cassidy seminar. Um, she came to our Cassidy basically explaining that she had her first big event coming up that following Saturday. And she was really nervous because she's never really done anything with you know, in the virtual world, but she is an incredible trainer and instructor and she's been doing it for years. And by the way, she's over in California. I'm over here in Saugus. So, you know, just being able to connect the way we did was incredible. But the bottom line is, you know, again, we, we just kind of followed the steps of the program. Um, she's someone who likes to use PowerPoint. Um, so I explained to her that, you know, by hooking up a second monitor is the same way as if she were doing a live presentation where the projection screen would be what the audience is seeing. Um, so we actually found a monitor uh, that she had lying around her house. We were able to hook that up. I taught her how to use it in presenter mode. I also put her in a position to improve her lighting, to get her in the most comfortable position. And, um, you know, honestly, instantly within the first four hours of working together, she went from somebody who was just completely scared to jump into that world to someone who was extremely confident. And then sure enough, um, that Saturday, she had incredible feedback. She didn't have any glitches um, and she was just so excited. And now we're producing an on-demand training program for her, which is just uh, the next step. So I'm really excited about that as well. I love hearing success stories, especially during these times. You know, I, I don't, I'm starting to do a little field production, but you know, uh, I, I'm looking to improve as much as I can this online production as well, because you know, if this pandemic returns at any kind of higher numbers, we may find ourselves in a lockdown again. So we're ready. We can help people continue to communicate and deliver their message and look even better doing it, you know, just with some simple tips like Evan shared with us. Why don't you tell us, Evan, how can the audience get a hold of you if they'd like to talk to you? Thanks, Mike. Um, you know, they could certainly reach out to me through my website, which is www.evanmartinproductions.com. Um, that also is my portfolio, so they'll get a chance to see um, some of the different things that I've taken on over the years and see the quality of the work that I produce. And obviously, there's quick ways to connect with me through there. But if you wanted to just email me directly, it's evan at evanmartinproductions.com. 
That's excellent. Thank you so much for that. One other tip I forgot, you know, that uh, I see people make the mistake all the time in live production situations, especially is when you're, when you're going to go to a, a video roll in, you know, where you have pre recorded video or sound, there's a little checkbox on Zoom to make sure you include the computer sound. People forget to check that little box that's on the share box, you know, and so then they end up, all you can hear is the sound coming through their computer speaker or microphone, uh, you know, and, and they wonder why it sounds so poorly. So if you're sharing, you know, sound from your computer, make sure you check that box. It's a good thing. Yep. Evan, any last things you want to share with us? Now that you mentioned the box, I just wanted to bring up a couple things. Um, there's a way to also improve by checking a box your video streaming. But again, you have to make sure that if you're going to stream video, you have to have a certain level of an upload speed. I usually recommend above 25 megabytes per second. You can go to a site like highspeedinternet.com just to see where your upload speed is at. And then again, um, you know, trying to explore at least, you know, if, if an ethernet option isn't available for you, which you could plug directly into the back of your modem, um, by just doing the basic things to eliminate any interference with your Wi-Fi connection, whether it be being on a certain channel or letting your roommates or your family members know, hey guys, I'm sorry, I have a really important event coming up. I need you to stay off of the Wi-Fi right now. And then there's another box, which uh, gives you that crazy virtual background. And I'm starting to hear um, some stories about how that is actually hurting some folks in the professional world because the green screen itself, although it's a fun thing to work with, it just doesn't look professional. Um, and one thing that I have in my home studio is I have painted a green screen on my wall and it could be as simple as just a three foot by three foot box. And then there's a box on Zoom that you can click on to add that green screen option on there. And um, it could, if you really want to use the green screen, it's just kind of an easy trick to really use it the right way. Because if you use the green screen option on Zoom or any of these other programs, um, if you use it the right way, then it's going to do the opposite. It's actually going to look super perfect professional and it can give you that ability to add whether it's your color schemes or your logo or whatever it is or whatever kind of message you're really looking to try to add into the background. Great tip you know because I, I see people use that and if you move it all you get that ghosting and shadowing from it it's just it's just it the watermelon head yeah 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 it's just uh, I tell people all the time you know just get a nice looking background at your home or office and you know avoid windows. Thank you so much for being here today, Evan. Thank you, Mike, uh, so much. And that's it for another edition of Be Mad Spotlight. Look for us on the next one. Take care, everybody.